This week, as we mark the 20th anniversary of 9-11, we're honoring some of those we lost by remembering their lives and legacies with a series called Beyond the Name. Tonight, Port Authority police officer Chris Amoroso. This haunting newspaper photo of him saving a woman captured his final moments. It's also been the subject of a 20-year mystery until now. Here's News 4's Adam Harding. It was here. It's a pretty sad day. That's why everybody needs to remember it. Everything changed. Look at this. It's very overwhelming. 20 years ago. Sad. Very sad. The names of those we lost. It's all the names. Etched into our memories. Let's see if we can find her name. Stories like Chris Amoroso's. What happened here is, you know, some tragedy. I love the flowers. He left behind a baby girl. When'd you get married? November 26, 1999. And a wife, Jamie. We got married not too far from here. He was a Port Authority police officer. How proud was he when he got the job? He loved it. Assigned to work at the World Trade Center. What do you remember about the morning of September 11th? It was a beautiful day. I remember he left and he said, I'm working at the World Trade Center. And I said, Okay, just be careful. And he's like, Ugh. he goes, what's going to happen? The horrors of that day may never go away. I knew when the second tower fell, I had like a feeling that it wasn't going to be good. I just knew. But in her husband's final moments, she was able to see just how fearless he truly was. A single photo. It was given to me. Of the moment he saved a woman's life before he ran back into the burning towers. It was good and bad. We have the proof. He was a hero. He saved this woman. What does that say about your husband? I'm not shocked. But he was, he was just a good guy. He was a hero. But for two decades, Jamie waited to hear from her then began questioning if the woman ever made it out alive. As time went on, I started to think maybe he didn't save her or get her far enough because we had never found her or had anybody had ever spoken to her. God. It was Todd Mazel who snapped that haunting picture while on assignment for the Daily News. He keeps it boxed up in storage, out of sight. Yeah, here it is but never out of mind. What is it about this photo that stays with you? The, the selflessness. He spends most of his time now in rural Massachusetts. Come on. Life today is much quieter. This is a 9-11 camera. But he'll never forget what he saw firsthand. I know every detail. I, I remember it all like, like it was yesterday. Through the lens of his camera. That was one of the first police officers that I saw. She was in distress and Chris was uh, determined to help her. It was like the photo brought him back to life. For that moment, they were able to see Chris as the hero that he was. I took two frames and then I lost them. He's always wondered, whatever happened to her? We never found her. We don't know who she is to this day. We never, never found out. Until now. I remember his face because he was my angel. We turned to social media, searching for a name, an identity, any clue. And after reading countless tributes, we found a post online from a man who says the mystery woman is his mother, Suman Damesha. He said, just ma'am, relax. We are here to help. She spoke with us from her home in India. I wish the best for his family, for his loved ones. She confirms that's her in Officer Amoroso's arms. She was working in the second tower. If he wasn't there, there is no way I could have made. And is ready to open up about that harrowing moment. He's never got to say thank you to him. I really owe my life to them. Each 9-11, her family says they light candles to celebrate what they call her second birth. When I came down, I fell. If I wasn't going to come up, there was no way I could be safe. There was no way I could be alive. Today. What I felt bad was because I have lived my life and he was still so young. She was given a chance to keep living 
She's now a grandma. He's always on my mind because he was the one who brought me out of that mess. She did have a message that she wanted to share with you. We shared our conversation with Jamie. Tell her that he had such a wonderful husband. And I'm alive just because of him. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm sorry. Wait a second. I can't believe she's alive. I can't, I can't believe she has the same face. She finally got to hear from the woman. She's the last person with him. She was so desperate to find. There's reasons. He went in with a purpose and was to save as many people as possible. The fact that I get to hear somebody say it. <laughs> and after 20 years. Hi, Suman, how are you? The two connected. I cannot believe I am looking at you. I cannot believe this. You look exactly the same. If I walked past you on the street, I would have known who you are because I've looked at that picture so many times. Yes, you look exactly the same. A long overdue meeting. And I'm glad he did his job that day. This way you could be with your family. Full of comfort. He was a brave soul, very brave soul. Yeah. And closure. I have a personal question. Sure. Did he seem scared? You know, he wasn't scared, but I was scared. Healing. Life goes on. Life goes on. A story. I want my daughter to meet you. Me too. I would love to meet her. No longer untold. Chapter's closed, I guess. Looking forward to starting new things. Yes. It's right. It's time. Right. It is. A new memory. Amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> my mind is blown. Born out of tragedy. I will be in touch. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Oh my God, she's amazing. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York.